Good morning and welcome to another one of Drew's Book Reviews. So today's book is going to be Red Moon and Black Mountain by Joy Chant. According to Wikipedia, this is an award-winning book. I'm not really sure why it's an award-winning book. I certainly don't think it's good enough for an award. But essentially, it is the story of three kids named Penelope, Nicholas, and Oliver, who... Well, they disobey their parents and go off somewhere where they're not supposed to be going off, off the usual paths, only to find themselves magically swept away to a whole nother world where they live out their lives, lives as part of this new world. Oliver progressively becomes part of the tribes of this new world and forgetting his past identity while Nicholas and Penelope remember everything uh, about their past lives and remain who they are. Uh, but I got to say that the writing style in this book is dull. It's boring. Uh, it did not keep my attention very effectively. And honestly, I felt I was really struggling just to get through this book because it just was not that entertaining of a read. And while it's got a great premise for a story, I felt it had poor execution of that premise. Uh, the, the, these kids, Oliver, Nicholas, Pen, Penelope, they barely played a role in the story itself. Oliver more so than uh, his brother and sister. But effectively they were very much not part of the story except in a few parts of the overall book and they just kind of seemed like extra baggage being carried along with the actual storyline of all the other characters and that is for me kind of problematic with this because if the story is supposed to be about these kids then you would think there would be much more involvement in the story itself and not just being dragged along behind everything else uh, they, the characters weren't that believable uh, as far as the characterization goes. Their motives, I mean, you're whisked away to a, a magical land you never even knew existed. And you don't even have the thought to try and find your brothers and sisters. None of them. Uh, Penelope didn't. Nicholas didn't. Uh, Oliver didn't. They're just like, oh, well, we're here, okay. And then it just left it at that. There there was no comment from the, oh, well, we have to find them. What, what's going on? Where are we? They just kind of seemed to accept the fact that they were there and went about their merry lives and just kind of got, went down the river, wherever the current took them. And there just didn't seem to be anything in the way their characters were portrayed to be believable at all, which for me is a big kind of big failing. I mean, we want believable characters and and we want to feel that those characters are playing a role in the story. And I just didn't feel that that was the case, particularly with Nicholas and Penelope, who did not seem to play much of a role in the story itself. Oliver becomes this character, Livna, which becomes this tribal warrior. So, I mean, he certainly played a role within the story. A lot more so than his brother and sister. Uh, but overall, there just seemed to be a lack of motivation, a lack of connection to the story with these characters, and just not good writing all around. I honestly wanted to quit reading partway through, but I thought, well, I can't do that because I want to be able to finish the book and give it a fair shake and be able to uh, say that I actually read the book in its entirety to give it a fair critique or review. And so I just kind of pushed my way through and just kept reading. But honestly, I probably missed half the story because I was so bored with reading it. I found my mind wandering and thinking about all kinds of other things. Uh, this is not a book that I would recommend. And definitely I don't think it's worth an award of any kind. It's supposed to be the first in a trilogy. Well, I can tell you, there's no way I'm picking up the rest of this series. Uh, this was just too boring, too dull, too, too 
poorly written. Like I, I don't recommend it. Don't read it. Just, just don't waste your time with it. So, but let it never be said that I always give a good review because you know what? Sometimes I don't. Sometimes the book is just bad, and that book is just bad. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching, and of course, uh, stay tuned. For next book up is going to be Worlds Apart. Uh, so hopefully this one is much better than Red Moon Black Mountain. Uh, and as always, don't forget to comment and subscribe below. And thank you so much for watching. And you have yourself a great day. And as always, links to my Facebook page, Twitter feed, and uh, WordPress blog will always be in the description below. And again, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a good day. And stay tuned for Worlds Apart. Thanks.